Welcome to Party of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or however many times you've clicked on my channel. Welcome. As you can tell, I am definitely in a different space. This is not my space. And if you've been on my channel more than, I don't know, 30 days, you know whose space this is. So, you know, I'm just gonna let her come on in, but I'm in somebody else's space and we decided to do the fancy a dancy uh, new video, as you can see from the title. My best friend is going to be picking my TBR and this is his space I'm in. Hi! Hey, Principal <laughs> from Castle Library. She's always linked in my description, so check her out as you know but yeah i'm at her house yeah. hanging out you know oh bowser's here oh and bowser is here hello Bow. <laughs> he's like mm, mm. get down we got tons of special guests on on the channel obviously so, you know <laughs> um her video will probably be out before mine i'm not gonna lie most likely but um as you can see on her channel we're doing each other's tbrs T what tbrs words words are hard they're always hard on this channel that's true. <laughs> Literally. This is very I true. brought them to your channel too. Words are oh, hard over there. Great. Too. Thanks. <laughs> Words are hard. But yeah, um, this is our first time meeting ever. I know, right? It's very strange. I mean, we've been best friends for like, we don't even know. I don't A even know. A couple keep, like, years. Yeah, 2019. Like two, three, two, three. It's not three. I, I joined BookTube in 2019. Wow, imagine that's, stuff falling. <laughs> that, that's that's my that's my channel. Literally, that's my channel. The stuff, oh, that is. stuff always falls. Why you gotta bring it over here? Because no, it's only in my fun. video, though. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, bringing well, that energy over here. Literally, though. I don't need it. Literally, but yeah. So um, what was I saying? We've been friends for a couple. Oh years. yeah, we've been friends for a couple of years now. We've never met, but we basically live on Facetime. Yeah. So yeah. That's I came true. out here to visit because why the hell not, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. about to leave the West Coast. Y'all already know that. I'm moving, but I decided that how dare I move from the West Coast and not see my best friend Hello? who's also on the West Coast before I leave. Hello? So that's what happened. And now we're here in her space. I got to sleep in here and oh my God. <laughs> if y'all want to know what heaven is, <laughs> sleep the so air mattress mind. right underneath all these books. And I'm just like, hi. Ah. <laughs> right the the ambiance, she got lights and everything. I'm like, oh yes, this is great. It was beautiful in here. I love it. I and now I'm thinking about my space when I move, and I'm like, oh yes, I'm gonna do this. It's, it's bad. It is. Are you gonna get seven shelves? No. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna get a half shelf. You're not gonna get seven? No. Do I need seven? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I've got five already. You need seven. You need two more. I mean, you're already getting one. You might as well just get another one. You're gonna be there. Say why waste you see the this? time? <laughs> you see this? It's just like, my books. Just join me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I agree. I, I chose to meet books. You didn't? Oh, did you? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's see what happened was you forgot that I. I don't already... know which one. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I mean, either way, I could I could definitely do ten books. Like, I, it is you. Yeah, you'll yeah. be fine. You'll be, be fine. fine. But yeah, we're just gonna roll up into it. She already picked the books out, um, and she's just gonna show me two of them. We already know. So three, we already know. No two, three. Oh, you black. You moved that one. What? Black out. I didn't agree. I didn't agree to that. Okay, you're gonna buy it anyways. All right, okay, here we go. All right, ready. This is her first book. All right, the first book that we already knew was *The Damned* by Renee Adier. This is the second book in *The Beautifuls*. The beautiful. The beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's about vampires. It's about this girl who is running away from something that happened to her in France, and she moves to New Orleans. Black people, New Orleans, vampires. Dope as fuck. What more do you need in a book? I don't really need much. I, I don't want to hold it like this because, like, your face. But okay. <laughs> I'm definitely a left-hander, so. Um, but, yeah, um, I picked this book for her. We're going to buddy read it because why the hell not? But y'all know how we do on buddy read, so. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> We're coming for ourselves. I don't need you. <laughs> right? Really me. It's me. I'm, I'm shit at buddy read. Well, you just go too fast. That's all it is. It's just like done, like. But yeah, we're gonna read the damned. Um, that's basically what it's about. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're just gonna. It'll be great. All right, book number two that she picked that I also picked for her is Blackout. I don't know how that happened, but um, it's by um Danielle Clay and Tiffany D. Jackson, Nick Stone, Andrew Thomas, Ashley Woodfork, and Nicola Yoon. 
Um, no idea what it's about, but basically how she explained it on hers is that it's a, it's a one separate story. It's not an anthology of short stories. All of them basically came up with a story that they wanted to write about, and each author writes a different chapter, and that's how it comes some together. Shit, I have no idea what it's about, but it's by a ton of black authors that I've already read already. One, two, three, four. Four of the authors on here I've already read. So I'm quite excited about it. Y'all know me. Anything with black. I'm just like. It's super in there. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to be buddy reading this one. All right. The next book is The Space Between Worlds by uh, Makaya Johnson. This was the Goodreads Choice Award sci fi, right? Was it the sci fi win? Either way, it was one of the winners in the Goodreads. Not Goodreads. Shaded, Shaded Choice, Choice Awards. Awards. Yeah. Um, if you already know about the Shaded Choice Awards, it's something that Princess and I and another counterpart put together um yeah oh wow i'm sorry it's okay yeah, gross. <laughs> um, it's totally fine nice so uh yeah i don't know what this is about we don't know what it's about it's about sci-fi i have no idea sure <laughs> um we're gonna read it because if this doesn't tell you anything about how our buddy read was going well it should tell you now we have no idea but yeah we're gonna actually buddy read it this time we're doing it yeah we're getting yeah. our buddy reads done like the first and second week we're just knock yeah, we're just gonna knock them out. It's gonna be great. We, we need the momentum, you know? Yeah, yeah, we gotta start strong. Yeah. And then, exactly. you know, be like, by the time we hit the third book, it's gonna be like, uh, you're like, move it over a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, all the other books, I don't know. These are the ones that she picked off her shelf. She already picked them, so you're not gonna watch her do it because we're running low on time. Um,. So she already picked them. I have no idea what they are, and I'm quite excited to see what she picked. And I can kind of see this top you can part. You see this first one? I'll, I'll creep down a little bit. I did see the top part just a little bit, but I kind of already know what it is, and I'm quite excited about it. And it's the project by Courtney Summers. Um, I actually don't know anything about this book. I just know that it's Courtney Summers. I still do the cult, I think, if I'm not and, mistaken. Yeah, actually. Um, but I read her first book. Well, it's technically not her first book. I read her other book, Sadie, and I loved Sadie. Ugh. She didn't like Sadie because she's like open ended. But I already told her it's not open ended and that. It's open ended. You all know what happened. It's not on paper what it's happened. It's not on paper what happened, but you kinda like you get to pick and choose what you how you want that. I don't to be. like that shit. But um yeah. I love Sadie. It's one of my favorite books actually. And if you like audiobooks, oh, it, listen to the audiobook. Yeah. It's it's in a what is it podcast form it's amazing and actually some guy made a podcast off of the book really yeah like there's a legitimate podcast for it it's really interesting it she talks about it in her in the book like at the end of it oh okay. she talks about there's a podcast oh, but yeah so i'm that. definitely excited to get to this next one i have the black cover of it so it will look the same on my channel but yeah the black yeah. cover oh that's the original cover right because yeah. that's the part of the one yeah oh okay. i have the black one okay I didn't think shit about that book. Yeah. I'm ready. Ready? 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm actually excited about this. It's Eliza and Her Monsters by um Francesca Zapia. I know this is one of your favorites. Yes. Your light is blinding me. Oh, I'm sorry. Smidge. Sorry. Um, I do it all the time. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is what is this about? So it's about a girl named Eliza who uh made some type of it's like a a comic strip kind of thing mm -hmm. on the internet. They're called okay. something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You okay. You, you just fresh from memory. Okay, got it. Yeah. So it's basically about this girl who is like, she makes these, it's kind of like Wattpad. Yeah, kind of. Like Wattpad. She does Wattpad, right? And then she makes this, and then this guy is one of her biggest fans. And then something about how, like, they end up, like, meeting online or something like that. He comes to her school. Yeah, and then he doesn't know that it's her. And he's always talking about it. And she's like, oh, my God. I'm famous because this guy, you know? And nobody knows who she is. Yeah, it's like a literally. Secret identity. But that's kind of like what the basis of it's about. I don't even know much more. I do believe this was in my list of videos. Remember that video I did about mental yes. health and stuff? Yeah. Neuro, it, there's, I'm going to link it down below and have it up top. But it's like the near, um, books that you should read that have um, disabilities that you can't see. That's anxiety. That um, anxiety. Yeah. And this one was on that list for anxiety. So... I'm glad that I'm going to get to it because I'm not I here. I love it. I'm not here making recommendation videos. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> reading it. I didn't name it recommendation because I didn't want to say that I'm recommending okay. without reading it. So It's really good. I don't like the, like, a couple pages, like, you can kind of see them, like, the black pages. Yeah. Those have pieces of her. Oh, uh, strip in like it? Like, the strip in it. And I didn't no? care for it. I don't give a fuck about that strip, bitch. Well. <laughs> yeah, fuck about that. 
next like i gotta look this way because if i look straight forward i can see because you know the power gets shorter oh okay so i'm trying to like you know here's a good area oh okay see what you know me see i cheated though i haven't read any of these books going forward or none of those either besides the lies and the monsters so i'm bouncing these off of you to see if i'm gonna like them oh wow you read them first she's using me yeah, yeah, i like that yeah. that's a great strategy yeah. um <laughs> it's ace of spades by um how do you say that Friday? for fried friday friday Oh, I like a looked B -B it up. Yeah, maybe. Oh. I'm gonna say it properly in the wrap up. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I've heard nothing but great things. I don't know what it's about. Uh, so, as far as I know, the two people in the front are students at some prestigious univer or uh -huh. prestigious school, and somebody is like messing with them. It's like some type of mystery, but there's no type of magical. There's no type of magicalness into it at all. So it's like a contemporary. Got like it. a like not a romance, a contemporary and like a mystery or something like that. I mean, it says on here, how do you spot or stop an unknown enemy? From what I hear, a figure approaches really, really the though. door, and the distorted smile and pale skin of the mask comes into view. Oh wait, hold on. Can I tell from the back? Can you tell from the back? No, I can't. <gasps> She pick, why she pick black looks? Why she out here picking black looks? I got you. Know I that got I want to read. I got you. It is a witch's seep in um, gold by Sian Sianna? Sianna. Sianna Smart? Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't want to I was almost said cinnamon. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It's, you know, uh, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Enemies bent on revenge and an unlikely alliance, one witch left standing. I have no idea. So is it about two witches fighting? I guess. I've heard backward things. Really? B. Oh. They uh, read this and said that it wasn't... Hidden. Yeah, it wasn't hidden like she thought it was, or they thought it was going to hit, excuse me. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I mean, the cover is gorgeous. Right. You know, Y'all know me, I'm basic. I love everything. That's true. That's true. I love everything, so I know this anything is Anything black be... in there. Yeah, anything black and, like, I'm not really critical about my, my reads. I don't think uh, like, many people should be. Because reading is very, you Subjective? Know, subjective. But... Yeah, either way, I'm excited about this. She's my best friend for a reason, because, like, most of them are, like, black. I got you. I got you. You already know. I don't know if you read this one or... No, I didn't. I kind of seen it okay oh yeah it's white yeah it's hard that's true um all right so that is the dragon republic by uh, rf kwan kwan Kling. i ain't read none of them so this I'm is the second, second book in the poppy war i read the poppy war the poppy war is phenomenal um i, I loved it. it it is adult trigger warning for everything everything yeah <laughs> honestly trigger warning for ptsd trigger warning for um if you are talking about fertility, sh things with that, trigger warning for that, trigger warning for, I think, sexual assault, abuse, tons like of things. war, right? War, yeah, yeah, obviously war. But um, it's basically following this girl. He's like an orphan in this like really small town. And then she ends up trying to study for this test and ends up getting into like the most prestigious military school ever. And she ends up going to this school and training and then obviously has like... Um, some Chinese mythology yeah Chinese mythology and some other things and it's actually like it's not based on a true story but it does pull from history of a lot of wars that were going on I loved it I know a lot of people were like up in arms about this book but I but absolutely love Poppy War people are up in arms about, about everything dumb shit everything I'll be like get out of here <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> but this was a good pick I'm glad that you picked this one okay so I'm just going to give you these two at the same time. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Because okay. I don't know if you've read this small one. I haven't. Okay. So I'm just going to throw that in there because it's a small one, so you're fine. And then I just gave you the other one. Yeah. So you have yeah, I do. I definitely it. have this one because yeah. you just gave it to me. Yeah. You saw she had to flex on me with her covers. Look. Like her desk covers. Like, <laughs> she was like, oh, look at my beautiful. These are, I love them so much. Oh, They're so beautiful. Um, It's A Court of Flames. I want to say silver flame. I want to say the court other of silver and a, flames. Yeah, <laughs> a court of silver flames by Sarah J. Mass, and it's also a court of frost and starlight. But I think I technically need to read this one first mm -hmm. before I read this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna read this one. These are what is this? The fourth? Fifth? 
That one is a fourth, and then this one's a fifth. Okay. But so, I think some people, like the girl at Barnes and Noble, said that this is the fourth, and that's just like a half. It is. It's a half. But this definitely know. came out before. It did. I think this one even came out before the third one. I have no idea. Don't know. Either way, this one again is going to be red first, and this is the second one. If you don't know, A Court of Thorns and Roses is a retelling, uh, loosely. Okay, I don't know what y'all talking about with this retelling. It's a loose based <laughs> retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It is not anywhere close Even that to bitch really. Is illiterate, so. Yeah, like <laughs> literally. It just, we're not gonna turn it. Love I loved it. It's Sorry. super smut. Like it's really just like not the first one. The no. second one. The second one is definitely smutty, but I loved it. It's filthy. I haven't I haven't read on past this first one. So. I know, and I thought about picking it for you, and then I was like, I forgot about it. I totally forgot. Well, this is but either way. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna have such a great time. I'm for sure. And now you have it. And so. I just recently read the last one. Oh yeah, Court of Mist and Fury. Yeah. So now you can just continue on to that yeah. one, which be great. from what I heard is solely just sex, basically. Yeah, but ba yeah, basically. And then the other one, yeah, I hear has and then because the sister, and super everything. amounts of. Like, I can't say much things. because she hasn't read it, and I don't know if you guys have read it, but everyone in BookTube as soon as this came out were like, "Oh my god." Yeah, I need to read it. Yeah, and they did. But yeah, I, didn't I know it's about really Nesta. Like it. Yes, but it's mainly about Nesta um, and um whatever Cassian maybe or some shit. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I love it just based off of what I remember. I don't like Nesta. I Me mean, neither. From the first book, so. I don't like her. Period. No. But I'll I'll just make a review video because I can complain and rant about that series. Maybe that could be like an actual vlog if you read it and do a spoilery vlog of it and see how you feel about it. I'm saying you saying your goals. You oh, now she rings up the goal. You see what I had to deal with for the last couple of days? Just right. saying. Attacking me. Attacking me. My bad. But yeah, I'm excited about this. How do I hold it up? Hold on. Uh -huh. Good luck. I got little arms. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, she picked these. It's going to be great. I'm excited about all of them, actually. First of all, I like how you pick 10 books in it. Look how thick these things are. These some thick ass books. I mean, see, the difference between my love and your love is I know that you can handle all this, and you know I can't handle all that. So, look, I was so gentle with her. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. No, I wasn't. I really wasn't because I have two heavy hitter, like emotional books in there. Yeah, but you also have like fantasies that I'm going to love. Yeah, you do. So. Of worlds See, look, I picked already. I picked books on on hers. Four of them I read, and she's like, "Yeah, I've read like one." one. <laughs> Here you go. One. Have a good time. Let me know. She's using me as a test dummy. I am. Really am. I really am. I'm like, I'm I want to really read this. certain about this, but here you read it. You have to know. tell me if I'm gonna like it or not. Nice. Okay. So I'm basically scrapping my entire August because you know me, I pre-record it, so it'll be fine. Yeah, we're, we'll ramble all day, so we're just gonna, you know. Mm -hmm. Have a great time. Yeah. What's my outro? I have no idea. Go on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to leave because we got to get ready to go. Got to burn it um, Let's go. <laughs> my bag is going to be very heavy. Yeah. But, yeah, that's it. Um, That's all that I have. So, I just said it and literally just like, it'll come back around. I lost it. All right. Well, that's all that we have for you guys today. Be sure to check out my description where you can find easy ways to contact me and princess um all i will have all the books listed as well as all the videos that i talked about if you like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and if not just imagine that you didn't come back again until next time keep it back to me bye what if this whole time you're just like not in frame oh okay i don't know i'm pretty sure i am though Pretty sure I am because I think I like spaced it to where you're. Oh, okay, perfect. Far that way, but I'll make sure. That would totally suck. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay, good. perfect. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I like how I say that. Mid three, all the way to the end of the video. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I it's know. blurred by Angie Thomas. So it is. Know. There is that. Well, that definitely says Aiden Thomas. Well, yeah. I thought it was though. Somewhere. We were tripping. Okay, never mind. I take this fine. You we don't know. Put that out. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I also don't own this. God damn it, really? I'll own it now. Okay, cool. I'll own it now. Okay. But yeah. I mean, we're just going to work. It's just too loud. It's going to be fine. Yeah. I won't.